Time for yet another gear review. This time we're going to be talking about this gorgeous, gorgeous guitar. This is the PRS SC Zach Myers. Zach Myers being the lead guitar player for the band Shinedown, who is endorsed by PRS and has a couple signature models. I think a USA model and a couple of uh, overseas models. Now, as I said, this is the SC, so that means this one uh, is made in Korea. Uh, they have another SC line. SC Standard, which is made in Indonesia. But this is the Korean model. Um, the layout is as follows. It has a beautiful mahogany back, mahogany neck, with a maple cap and a flame maple veneer on top. She's semi-hollow, so she's super light. We have a wraparound bridge, an intonatable wraparound bridge. The SC 245 pickups Three-way switch, volume, volume, tone, tone on here. A big old wide, fat neck. We have vintage kind of Cluson style perloid tuners. Typical S Paul Reed Smith headstock shape. And that's it. So it's essentially kind of a Paul Reed Smith's version of a Les Paul with some subtle differences. Um... I'd call them improvements. The improvements are being that the headstock angle isn't as severe as pitched as a Gibson. Um, you have your, your, your strings that go straight because the angle of the headstock right here, so all the strings are here, going straight off the nut. All those things increase tuning stability. Uh, I believe it's a plastic nut. It could be a plastic synthetic or composite with uh, graphite or something like that. It works great. She stays in tune beautifully. Um, now this one, the only thing I've done is it, it came with gold knobs. I mean, it's clear knobs, and I put these gold ones on here. Uh, I just I just didn't think the clear ones did anything aesthetically for it. And this finish, I guess it's called a it's kind of a flame green. Just it's gorgeous, whatever it is. I don't know what they call it, but it's just gorgeous. And so I'm going to let you hear a little bit through these, these awesome SC245 pickups. Now, in an interview I saw online, I believe Zach Meyer said that the bridge is wound a little harder than the normal SC245s. Um, but don't quote me on that. This, the, all the, the technical specs and set stuff say that they're just SC245 pickups, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but they're not too hot, and neither one of the pickups is. Um, which I like, but they're very clear, really amazing sounding pickups. So I'll, uh, I'll play a little bit through each pickup again and let you hear what they sound like and uh, talk about what I love about them. So here's that bridge again. <laughs> yeah. Really nice, you know, overdriven bridge sound, which you expect. And here's the middle. Position with both pickups on. Mm -hmm. Kind of nice balance, not quite as uh, driving as the bridge by itself, but a nice balance. Here's the neck. Again, not as hot, but really nice sound. Excuse me. Really nice sound. Um, what I love about these pickups, and especially, uh, I mean, both of them really, but what I love about this neck pickup is it's very stratty. You know, it has a very kind of... Almost a strat kind of sound. It's a little thicker, and obviously because it's a humbucker, it's a little rounder sounding, but it has a very kind of stratty sound. You know, which makes it a very useful instrument because you can get a lot of tones out of it. And uh, the bridge pickup again, it's got a, it's got a really nice, beautiful sound, and it's not too hot, but hot enough to drive your amp. 
Now I have a little gain going on here, but not a lot. <laughs> So you can get a really nice kind of vintage classic rock tone out of this, this guitar. Now Shinedown is a more of a hard rock band, so I can I can crank up the gain on this and really, you know, get some thick rock hard rock tone. <laughs> Get it same with all positions. Uh, even though these pickups aren't as hot as uh, some guitars, you know that typically are used in a you know, more hard rock band, they're very they're very capable of rocking hard. I mean, obviously the guy who's endorsing this uh, is plays hard rock, and he likes his pickups a little less hot, so that's cool. So that's it. The SC Zach Myers, gorgeous guitar. She'll do a lot more, but I don't want to bore you with all the different things. I mean. She'll do what you want her to. I mean, it's a very versatile instrument. I think you can play any kind of music on here. You could play blues, you could play rock, you could play you could play country if you wanted to, you know. Slap it into that that bridge position and and turn your volume back. Almost uh, almost tell you like if you just turn your volume back and all that. So very versatile. I'm not splitting coils or anything like that. Um but, you know, you can really express yourself through your volume and tone knobs, and that's the beautiful thing about these guitars and this style of guitar. So there you have it. I think the value is outstanding. 679 brand new. Comes with a gig bag. Uh, and from my understanding, all of PRS, SE lines from overseas come to the USA factory for inspection and setups before they leave uh, to out to any stores. So you're getting a... a, a much higher quality control as far as I'm concerned. I don't know of the other factories that do that. So, but, you know, that's a great thing that PRS is doing. Paul Reed Smith has, uh, has chosen to do because he really wants to keep the quality up. These are great instruments. If you can't afford the the USA counterpart, which not a lot of us can, I don't have three $4,000 to spare. I know you can get ones for a little bit less, you know, in the 2000 to... I think maybe sub even like the fifteen hundred dollar range, but I, I still can't spend that kind of money. Six hundred seventy nine dollars, you can get a pretty close approximation, and the quality is going to be on par with those. Um, some of the fit and finish issues, you know, some are going to be a little different. Although the fit and finish on this is superior, you know, some of the hardware might be a little better. Um, pickups you know and the, and the pots and stuff you're going to get a little bit higher quality probably a, a a better quality fret but you know these are outstanding and you know if you take care of it i don't see why this couldn't last you the same amount of time as a uh, the three thousand dollar usa counterpart um i just i love this guitar it's just great i love the bridge it's a wraparound bridge but you can intonate each individual saddle just really great feels real sturdy um, the neck is like a baseball bat, which I love. Big old chunky, meaty necks. The scale is a little shorter than Les Paul, being 24 and a half inch scale as opposed to 24 and three quarters. So when you first play it, it feels a little slinky. But uh, you get used to that really quick, and it feels great, and it's just super light. It's just, just a gorgeous, gorgeous instrument. Um, there you have it. PRS SE Zach Myers. If you have the extra cash... Go ahead and get the USA, but if you don't, you can get this, you'll be just as happy. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe, check out some of my other videos. Uh, I appreciate it. Peace.